Hello, this is the third video in a multi-part video series on layering in Vixen 3. Uh, in the last video, you will, if you watch that, you will recall that uh, we worked on a little more advanced usages of the intensity overlay. We also did some around the mask and mask and fill effects. So picking up where we left off there, I, I have the two effects on here where I have my spiral and my curtain together. I'm using the spiral in a masking situation to mask out portions of the curtain to create a interesting uh, effect up there. I'm going to add in and actually take this to the next level. This is up to this point. We've just been kind of putting two uh, effects together in some fashion with a, with a single layer in between them. So now you'll notice that I have these, I still have the same layers in here. The intensity overlay is the last layer. These mask and mask and fills are on top of that. So they, they act from the top down in a mixing fashion. I want to introduce um, actually bringing in uh, the intensity overlay on top of this. So now I actually want to be able to ramp this whole thing up as I go along here. So I'm going to bring that in there, and then I'm going to line all these up together. And I'm going to take this guy here with the pulse and drop it in the intensity overlay like we've seen before. Now I'm going to take all three of these together now. Now you will notice that the mask is applying to the two of these as, as we expected earlier on and we saw. Now I've actually introduced the intensity overlay here. Now I've got a ramping up version of this mixed mask effect over here as well. So there you see the how the multiple layers can interact together. And I can use uh, multiple layers to create compound changes to the effects as they go along. So the, uh, we can take this a little bit further here. And if I drop uh, the bars effect in here on my other tree, and we line everything up here just for a good measure. Now you will see that uh, you know the intensity overlay, as you might expect, is still just uh, affecting the um, the pixel tree on the left, where I've got it uh, applied in here as well. But now I can actually take, if I want to, and move this up here to the upper group level. And when I apply this across these, you will see that that both trees are actually getting the intensity overlay ramp applied to them. Uh, the pixel tree on the left has actually still got its masking going on. The bars doesn't have anything going on with it, so it just acts like it normally does, and you see the, the intensity fade being applied to it as well. So that actually gives you a, a lot more flexibility to be able to control what multiple effects are doing and mix them in multiple ways with the, the different layer mixing filters in there and create compound effects. So now you take the combinations of all this layering plus all the effects that you have and you've got a whole bunch of brand new effects you probably didn't even know you had. So that is a little more advanced look at, at layering. There's many, many combinations that you can do within this. You know, it's just a matter of experimentation to see what you want to come up with. Thanks.